nationally, if you look at the numbers of people that are coming out of prison, which is around 700,000 people a year, between 65 and 68 percent will reoffend and be reconvicted and reincarcerated within five years. How does your community welcome you back? Does your community welcome you back? The community really has the power to change the way a person's life can go. I wanted to stay clean for myself and for my family. I wanted them to see the real me. First of all, admit that your, your son was going to jail. And then naturally people want to know why. You just keep sinking and sinking and sinking day by day. Either you're gonna go under or somebody's gonna throw out that lasso and you're gonna grab onto it and somebody's gonna pull you. You're gonna be working with people who have been convicted of felonies that are returning to the community and your job is to help them in that process. How do you help an individual? You have to sit down, you have to talk to that person, you have to get to know that person, and that's what COSA does. My family are addicts. I had nobody, I have nobody. For Tara, the big risk wasn't going back to drugs. The real risk was going back to the life of prostitution because it pays so well. You want to live together as a family. What if that's not going to happen? How are things going to be handled at that point? This is actually going to be the third year that I've continued with COSA. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's one thing to say I want to live sober and I want to live differently, but how do you know what that looks like? These are members from the community that go and take time out of their day or out of their week, out of their year to understand you and who you are as a person and just try to be there for you to fall back on if need be. There are some people who have done some bad things. I've done some bad things, but we're people, we have made bad choices, and it should not define who we are. They're a part of the community, they have family here, they have kids in our schools, we're gonna see them in the grocery store. We should be doing our best to welcome them back and make sure that they get everything they need to be a productive member of society. You know, sometimes it's just needing a friend.